My name is James Gao. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Green Citizen. The vision of Green Citizen mm -hmm. is to address the electronic recycling crisis in a very fundamental way. And there are so many pieces broken in this so-called reverse supply chain from the point of your usage to all the way take it to heavy it manufacturer. We want to address this step by step. This center is the first step in making it convenient for a consumer can drop it off, business can cause for the business pickup. The problem is that electronic wise is very convenient that you, we use it every day. We don't think about what happened when we need to dispose of it. And the manufacturer hasn't thought about it. Uh, government hasn't thought about it, consumer haven't thought about it. So it's a question of, oh, I have this, what do I do? A lot of the recycling item, when it's recycled free of charge, what really happens is some of the recyclers just take out what they're interested to sell in a secondary market, whether it's on eBay or some other places. And the rest of the stuff, they just sell to brokers representing developing country. And they take it off their hands. And two or three hands later, it mm -hmm. end up in a dumping situation in China, in Africa, in places that it shouldn't be. And because they don't have very high environmental standard and they have very low cost laborers. So these labor just taking apart on the street, you know, near the riverbed, take what they are interested in, throw the rest on the swamp in the swamp and burn it off. I come from a database background, so accountability is the key. The one major thinking which is very different, we don't treat a recycling item as just e waste. We treat it as evidence of recycling. As you know, from all the movie, from the TV series you see, evidence is priceless, where e-waste only have very limited value. Green citizens believe is this is a shared responsibility. There's no one party should be totally responsible for recycling electronics. Our vision is government is the referee, the lawmaker. They have to set up a very good law to regulate and also give a, a level of playing field to make sure that everything can be accounted for and tracked for and managed. But they should get out of the way of the execution of that and let the private enterprise compete under that kind of game plan to make it successful. A cradle to cradle book which we carry here is part of our, our being. You know, we do educations. We, we try to get people to start thinking. You know, you can't be thinking cradle to grave, which is what happened today. You have to go to cradle to cradle. To do cradle to cradle, the first number one requirement is you have to have an efficient mechanism to collect things back. So you can see that basically what we have is uh, material which is uh, you know, sorted in miscellaneous engineering laptop, the CPU in one place, the inkjet in one place, the serial cream in one place. These are type of material which has a similar kind of component. When you have similar kind of component equipment, you sort it well, you're making the job of the manufacturer a lot easier. If you have high grade plastic and low grade plastic mixed up and crush it down, what is the usage? Low grade plastic usage. But if you can separate it out well, then high grade plastic can be reused for high grade plastic usage. The same situation here. So we also collect things like DVD, VHS tape, batteries. The 25 DVD that you got from AOL might not be very useful for you, but when we collect it, when you have 10,000, 100,000 DVDs, which are of the same material, then it has the possibility of making it become a, a recycled material. Mm -hmm.